Okay, what up Fantastics, I hope you're having a great Sunday, so welcome to this, another Fantastic Live show, and it's great to have you here, uh, as always, and I'm looking forward to hang out with you guys, and help you guys uh, understanding Finnish culture, lifestyle, language a little bit better, and answering your questions of that topic. So, I'm actually a little bit tired, I had a pretty... <laughs> Uh, well, let's let's just say not tough, but a very fun housewarming party, and then we went to this pretty good nightclub here in Helsinki. And <laughs> let's just say I was home at four, and I didn't sleep that much as usual. So if I look a little bit more tired than usual, that's the reason. Okay, we have a lot of people on the chat. Also, let me know in the chat where are you watching this, like your country and city. Uh, let me scroll a little bit. We have. Pernille R says hey, Hazel Anno says hey, Alexis Sor says hi, Belle is also here saying moikka, moikka, moikka kaikille, Bejaui, Wasim, wow, that's very difficult for me, says hey, Nicole is also saying moi, jette kiva meidän stream ikväli, ja des teemme ju, moi moi, Nicole says also, a lot of people, many people are saying hello twice, but that's fine, Saekka is also here, Sophie Drachen is also here, great. John Shukites, Shukites, good evening. Crystal Nelson, hi, is that the sun out there? No, it's my desk lamp, because <laughs> it's like evening already here in, in Finland, so not even, there's no hope of having sunlight at this hour. Uh, minä pidän sinun duet tosi kyllä kaliksväri. Okei, okay. taksi People from Greece, Helsinki from Moscow, Sunset Lover saying hey, watching from Philippines near St. Louis, and William is also here. Thanks for your William, your emails, William. Again, once again, I I did saw them but didn't have the time to reply yet. But I've I, I've I've acknowledged those definitely. Okay, so as always, you know you know the concept, you know the drill. But in case you're here for the first time in these live streams, and as you can see, my 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 this like a headset cables are like twisted, like just like Finnish sense of humor. No, nah, just kidding. Like, like Finnish, like Finnish people like this, like self-deprecating humor, and some people like even like dark humor. For example, my my one of one good friend of mine has like he likes dark humor. <laughs> And he's he's uh, looking forward to find a, a girlfriend at some point who also likes this kind of like dark humor. So uh, yeah, so the idea is to I will go I will keep an eye on the chat and I will try to answer your questions and help me help you guys as much as I can. Just keep in mind I'm just a regular dude. I'm not like a specialist in any any sort of special topic. But I'll see what I can do with your with your things and make sure to boom but put me one of these so we can get a good start for this live stream okay excellent uh dash dash says hey if you know finnish could i easily live in finland because 
a lot speak English. Yeah, like the, this is a question I get a lot. And uh, the thing is that, yeah, you can definitely survive without speaking any Finnish. I know many people, for who foreigners, who have, for example, studied here, then they got a job uh, which doesn't really require Finnish. And because the whole country pretty much runs well with English, the level of English uh, is pretty good in general. So the answer is yes. As long as you can just find a job where Finnish isn't required, then, then you can do that. Call me, sir. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, you look really tired, dude. We appreciate the hunger and the love for yourselves. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit tired because of the parties yesterday. I didn't have any hangover, though. I, I rarely get any hangovers because I don't really drink like that much. I do drink, for especially long cara and long drink, but uh, I just usually slow down before I get like too drunk and then my body manages to clear out the booze before it hits me too hard. Good evening, greetings from Germany. Feeling dank. Aus Deutschland, say good. I wonder how you deal with the dark evenings. I just made a video like two weeks ago on like how to survive the darkness in Finland. I strongly recommend to go watch that video if you have it. Uh, uh, what is the best city to live in? Well, that depends. That depends. Like what? What? I guess. You know, we have, we are dif we are individuals. We have different preferences. I personally think Helsinki is the best because I like big cities where there's a lot of people, a lot of good stuff you can do. Uh, but for example, if you go to some other city, they are a little bit more authentic because Helsinki is kind of like a big metropole. It's like a big city. But if you want to explore the real Finland, like outside of Helsinki, is definitely a good place to do it. For example, I, I lived six years in uh, Tampere, which is also a pretty kick-ass city, in my opinion. Crystal Nelson is my first. Thank you for the welcome. Okay, good to have you here on the show, Crystal. I hope you enjoy. Vladimir Vladimirovich says, hello from Russia. I'm still here. Cool. All right. What do you do to call for the dark evenings? Uh, I don't do anything special. I guess uh, some people could do something, but like I personally don't really care because it's it's kind of like something I've used to already. Uh, but yeah, watching that video video which I did about darkness a few weeks ago, that's a good good uh, place to get some tips. Moika, one from Brazil here. Cool, I would like to go to Brazil one day. Elias says, uh, you will learn Finnish and or Swedish depending on where you want to move. Haha, <laughs> be like Alexi, pidan Alexi. <laughs> be like Alexi, yeah, that's, that sounds funny. A boom, you got it. All right, well, what did I get? I'll, maybe I'm a bit too tired, I, I think I missed something. What do you think about Tempara University? What is Tempara University? Or are you talking about Tampere University? Well, uh... So nowadays in Tampere, or before there used to be three different universities in Tampere. Tampere University of Technology, where I used to study, University of Tampere and Tampere Universities of Applied Sciences. But I think it was last year when they all combined to one big school. And I haven't, I, I, I finished my studies before the combine or the unification happened. So I don't really know like how it, how it's actually nowadays to study there. But I think it's pretty good school, in all in all, so that's what I was going to say. Saakka says, but just because many Finnish speak uh, English, that's not an excuse not to learn Finnish. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Like, there's definitely a number of benefits of learning Finnish, but maybe the point is that it's not absolutely necessary. Like, you can survive without Finnish, but if you, if you learn a little bit Finnish, that can be a lot of useful because for example if you if you speak a little bit Finnish the locals uh, appreciate appreciate did my stream die hold on let me just check I think it's fine okay Ah, uh, yeah, I just unplugged my 
headphones because the music just quit all of a sudden. So, uh, yeah, so the, uh, where were we? Yeah, so if you learn Finnish, like the locals do understand that you are actually learning and you're making an effort to learn them. So they appreciate you more for doing that. Great, let me just see. Three streams, fine. Okay, great. Because I, I just huh, accidentally unplugged the headphones. It's like, did my did the stream die again? Because we've had some problems with that recently, but it seems we're all good. Uh, is August a good month to visit Finland? Uh, yeah, I would think so, yeah. It's still like autumn, but it's it still shouldn't be like that cold. Blue Feather Studio. I just love Finland because of the people. They are really friendly. Even they are are quiet. Quiet, I think is the word. Cool. That's that's great. That's great to hear. Uh, what age do Finnish people start learning English? Uh, is it when they are? Is it when they start school? Uh, I'm not sure what's the, what's the exact age, age, uh, age nowadays, but. When I used to be at the school, it was at the third grade, and I was around 10 years old. And because I was actually quite good at English, because I used to play a lot of video games, and because they were all in English, <laughs> that was that's my secret for, like how I was good at, good at English back then, at least. Um, Crystal Nelson asks, do you think Turku is the best place for romantic Finnish vacation? Uh, yeah, I guess it could be. Actually, I, I haven't properly fin <laughs> visited Turku ever, so I'm kind of like a, <laughs> I'm a bit uh, like a lazy Finn in that sense. But I would think so, yeah. Turku is the former capital and I, I think it's it's not like as busy as Helsinki, but if you want to re experience like a little bit like real uh, authentic Finland, why not? How annoying is the average American in Finland? <laughs> okay, it seems you have a little bit negative Im image of Americans. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the Americans I've met are quite okay. I don't have any much to complain myself. So yeah, that's not 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 that not not that annoying. I would say. Alexander Jiska, moi everyone, moi moi. Tervetuloa. Are there mountains in Finland? No, we actually, Finland is a very flat country. We don't have like proper mountains or like this things that uh, fall into the definition of mountains as far as I know. I think in the very like close to Norwegian border there might be some, but not really. Uh, what kind of business plan do you need to receive funding and benefits for a startup company? Uh, these are all, all you can find the criteria in the in the business Finland website. Like I'm not a business guy. Like I I don't know. I I <laughs> I'm not a business expert, so I can't really answer that. What do Finns think about international marriage? Well, again, this is like very diff. <laughs> There's no no like a clear answer. Some like it, some don't. Some people prefer marrying a Finn and some don't ma ma mind marrying a foreigner like I don't mind I wouldn't probably mind marrying a foreigner like my ex-girlfriend was for example Japanese we didn't get to <laughs> get as far as as getting married but I mean as long as we get along well together and our cultures match you know and there's no big like mismatches and things we kind of disagree about culturally then it's like of course fine uh ken asks are the university classes oh where's the question i think it popped up so are the university's classes taught in finnish advice for attending finnish university as foreign student who's like uh if you attend university like you need to apply to a program an english program there's hundreds of different university programs that are taught in english so that means that all the classes are taught in English. But if you apply for a Finnish program, then, you, then they are taught in Finnish. Very simple. When are you going to have the meet and greet? Uh, I think it's going to be maybe next month. 
because I'm actually moving at the, at this month at, at this month. So I think I will probably have one next month. Hopefully, uh, it's gonna be in Helsinki definitely. Maybe we just go to some bar and you you know just chill out and have maybe a few drinks there. What other languages do they learn aside from English in Finland? Over Wales, we learn Wales, French, well, okay. So in Finland, it's this is one of the aspects which I'm really happy about to be born and raised in Finland because we have we have a very good opportunity to learn a lot of languages. So we have to learn, of course, English and Swedish. Then it's very common to pick a fourth language. For example, I picked German in in uh, upper secondary school and then at the in the university i learned japanese and because i went to japan so i learned it there pretty much so uh, but you can choose like german russian spanish french chinese there's a lot of things you can choose so that's uh it depends but it's definitely possible that there's wide variety of options you can pick M is honestly a country where there's potential to become rich, not just an average human with family consuming air. Uh, what is EM? I don't understand the question. 6% speak Swedish in Finland. I don't remember with or without all. And do you know, Alexis? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's more than 6%. Or maybe, uh, maybe it's six around 6%. What is the reason you started learning Japanese? For what reasons? Uh, because I I moved there. I I did my exchange studies there, so that's the reason. And they don't really speak English there at all, so that's that's the thing. Oliver Fur as terve Alexi mitä kuuluu? Kiitos hyvää kuuluu. Does Finland encourage new ideas and entrepreneurship? Uh, I would say yes. It's very easy to start a business. And we have like a lot of these startup things also going on. So I would say, yeah, I would definitely think so. They recently began to introduce English in the first year. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. How long does it take to get Finnish citizenship? I made a video about that. There's a specific video about that. Go, go watch that one. You can find the answers there. I don't really remember. It depends like, cause you, you need to spend a certain amount of years in Finland under a uh, permanent uh, continuous residence permit Alex do one video about Finnish memes <laughs> I think I think I have that on my list and at one point I thought about doing that but uh, yeah well it's it's kind of like a part of the like a popular culture <laughs> this memes so I guess it would be it's a good idea like Spurdos Pärdäjä I don't even know I know Spurdos Pärdäjä like I think I know the meme but I don't really know what's the what's the meme about Gibt es bei dir in Finnland auch Sturm heute wie in Deutschland So the question is that uh, is there like a, sto a storm in in Finland No uh, I don't think at the moment but there might we might f uh, have some uh complete black cloud we might experience some some like effects of the storm in, in, in Germany what is the most common religion in Finland I think it's Christian Lutheran Lutheran is the one this is for example an uh, information you can find on the Finland's Wikipedia page is it true that every Finn wants to be a Swede and every Swede wants to be a Finn? <laughs> Where did you hear this kind of fact? I haven't heard of this. I don't, I don't, I think it's not true. How difficult is it to be hired in emergency services such as dispatcher, firefighter? I don't know. Uh, I don't know because I'm not an uh, expert in that field. Do you think in Finnish or English? Uh, of like this is a w very good question because when you are learning a new language, you need to start thinking in that language. For example, when I'm 
speaking English, I always think in English. Because the problem is that if you try to translate from your mother tongue to English, there's two, two problems there. It takes longer for you to process and input, start speaking what you want. And the second problem is that you might end up with language that doesn't sound as natural. Because you, always when you translate, there is like lo lost in translation things. So, for example, if you're learning Finnish, you need to start thinking in Finnish. You need to start think like a Finn. That's one of the key aspects of becoming good at any language. The same thing is if I if I want to speak in German, I, I just flip the switch in my brain and start to think in German. But that yeah, that's a good question. Do you switch between the two quite fast? Well. Because I think my English skills is, I'm kind of confident in my English, so I can do this switching quite quickly. But for example, yesterday when I was at the nightclub, I went to talk to some girl and she was from Sweden. Like, And then, because my Swedish isn't really, <laughs> like, I'm not as confident with my Swedish as I'm with the English. So I just quickly switched up. And then I, some at some point I said some words in German and <laughs> because German and Swedish are very similar. like. <laughs> It depends, like, sometimes it's a bit challenging. Uh, are the police brutal in Finland? No, like, I think the police is very nice. Like, they don't, like, misuse the power or, or you know, these kind of things. Okay, William is sharing information about the citizenship. Cool. Why do you whip each other with birch branches in the sauna? Actually, that's a good question. I don't know what's the origin but i think it's just because it's just it just feels good you know and you know the the birch makes like a really nice effect on the skin and stuff it's not something we do all but all the time it's only like a midsummer thing so if i go to sound like regular like a basic sound we don't do that it's just like a special case Cherry Lindo says, Alexi, thanks. Your video helped me arrive at Finland. One question, why is that ladies in Finland do not, does not like men to speak the truth about themselves? What does this question mean? I don't understand this question. Why, why is that ladies in Finland do not like men to speak the truth? I, I think Finnish ladies always like this bold, direct. So I, I'm, I'm not really quite understand what what's this uh, what's the question about it. And by the way, yeah, if you haven't uh, got the new Fantastic Squad T-shirt, it's available. I think there's uh, like a pin comment on the stream chat and on the link uh, in the description. You can also get it. And this one is actually like a premium T-shirt. Like the previous ones were like this kind of classic and the. The shirt is it's a little bit thicker the previous ones, but this feels amazing on, on like it's actually very comfortable to wear this. So this is like a premium premium shirt. So make sure to get one if you haven't, because all Fantastic Squad members need to have a, some sort of Fantastic merch. And you can also get all the previous merch that we've also created together. Uh, worldwide shipping and all it's very easy. They will basically send it to your way like a your post box it comes like a like a mail and you can get it so make sure to get one if you have it okay let's go back to the questions uh -uh. i just finished watching ah oh, shit where is the question angry daddy at lapland in youtube don't know what he's saying but there's a lot of cursing <laughs> okay I i'm not sure if i've seen that video Chime in Finland. Seeing you having your food in front of the laptop in Olivia's video, kids, bird, and ass. <laughs> yeah, because like this desk where I'm now, well, I, I can show you like this one is my, this where I do all my stuff, but this is also my food table. <laughs> so I don't have like a special like a dinner table. In my, in my new apartment where I'm moving in at the end of this month, there I actually have this like small food table. So that's that's i think that that's good because then i won't make a huge mess here uh, uh can i become a rapper in finland yeah sure why not if you are good at rapping and why not minimum residency is reduced to the okay 
I've heard today it's a punishment for violating personal space, but I think it's just improving blood circulation. Okay, what was the... Ah, the whipping, the vihtominen, okay. Emma Kiviniemi says, Moi Alexi, hope you are, are well. Is there some sort of driving course to help you to drive on the other side of the road if you come from another country and find it difficult? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I see the problem there. I don't think there... Well, maybe you can take driving lessons, but I think it's just you just need to give it a little bit of time to to you know get used to it. But uh, that's a good question. Maybe you, I guess you could take driving lessons if you wanted, but but I think it's just giving it time and taking things slowly at the at the beginning. Did you date a Swedish girl before? Uh, no, I haven't actually dated a Swedish girl. So I, I don't have a hands-on experience in that. I would I would say there's not that much experience or differences, sorry. Uh, okay, my chat is like bouncing. Haha, uh -huh, German and Swedish are similar, you are fun, well, kind of, but there's four other languages that are more similar. Yeah, but the, the vocabulary is like very similar. Like, for example, the word, uh, what is it in English? Like, uh, it's kind of like when you have an idea about something or you have like feeling about something, it's like aning in Swedish and in German it's anung. Or, um, it doesn't know. There's, there's a lot of this, the vocabulary wise, it's very similar, very similar. And it's often it helps uh, if, if you don't remember a word in German and you know it in Swedish, you can actually kind of easily deduce it that way. Like I think whole is like helig in, Ger in Swedish and in German it says highly, highly. It, it's a bit different, but the way it's written is pretty similar. Uh, Proteos says, I saw the other day a guy saying that if your child is born in Finland, but you're a foreigner, they, they, they get the parents nationality, therefore not Finnish. Is there a reason why? Uh, because I think it's just, you need to have either one parent needs to be Finnish to order to get the, in order to the child to have the, the resident or the citizenship. I think it makes sense, you know, if you like, why, if, if they just happen to born in another country, like why, why would they, why should they, why should they get their country's nationality? Like, if, I think it, in that sense, it makes sense to me. Oh yeah, Alex whipped me harder with the bird's prance. <laughs> okay. Maybe uh, maybe a little bit later. I was at the spot and a lady was looking at me when I saw the new Finnish lady I just met. I told her that the lady was looking at me instantly. She said, let's be friends. She does not want to date me. Uh, hold on, I need to think. Instantly she said, let's be friends. I mean, that, that was just a one case, like, uh, this is something that you guys need to keep in mind, that if you just happen to have one negative experience with Finnish people, or like something bad happens in Finland, don't make, don't draw a conclusion about the whole country or the, all the people, because, you know, uh, there's all, all kinds of people in Finland, there's good people, there's bad people, and something in between, so... If, if, if you just happen to have this one isolated case of like a negative thing, don't think that all the people are like that. So here, like some ladies said, that, okay, you, they didn't want to date you. It doesn't mean that the other Finnish ladies don't want to date you. Like it's numbers game, you know, like even uh, yesterday when I, when I was at the club, I went to talk quite a, a few ladies here and there and some people, some of them didn't want to talk with me and some with some we had like quite nice chat so it's always like this always this kind of like variation and some people 
you always you always get rejected here and there sometimes but the more you talk to people the more you are putting yourself out there talking to people the higher chances you have to find people that you get along with all right um Okay, my chat just bouncing up again. Uh, 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 uh. Alex, what will happen if you have a hard on at the sauna? Nothing. Plus, what will you happen if you piss at the hot stone in the sauna? You will get uh, on the blacklist and probably ejected from the sauna. Most difficult English word to say. Uh, I can. There definitely is something, but I probably cannot just come up with it right away. Milan, Milan says Ilta. No Ilta, Ilta. Terve sulleki. I wonder if Finland is part of NATO. Uh, no, Finland is not part of NATO. Are there expensive clothes stores? Do you have secondhand clothes shops? Yes. I made a video about like how to save money in Finland, so there's you can find some answers there. I have planned to move to move in Espo. That sounds great. Hands on experience. <laughs> oh, any reason why? I don't even know why Britain is in part of NATO. Well, Russia is the three reason, you know. Because Russia isn't really a friend of NATO, and if Finland became a part of NATO, then it might cause some cause some stuff at the Russian end. Do you know any Finnish specialty coffee roasteries? I think there definitely are, but I don't drink coffee at all, so I don't really know about this. Alex Jaska Farani, Krampo Day, hyvä jatkoa. Tak te sama, tak te sama. Okay, Saaknos on good. Kaffa roasteri lehmus cafetoria. Excellent. Fantastic. Finns are super cool people. Great. I wonder if there's any loan words from other Nordic languages in Finnish. Yeah, especially from Swedish. Like Spora. Uh, is like spor ba wagen in, in Swedish and we in spoken Finnish we say spora is Tikan where the high price place to live I don't know I don't know where that is where can I borrow a laptop in Kajani I, I don't know isn't it scary to live near Russia do Finns go through the army and retraining yes we go to the army. I've been to the army myself. Uh, but nowadays it's not really that scary, you know. Thanks for the advice. Cool. In what context is the expression Kehdon Röste? I never he heard of Kehdon Röste. I, I, I know what it means, but I'm, I, I have never heard of this word before. Best place to buy Osalamiak or Finnish streets. Uh, there is a place called... Uh, Yes, so there is like a online store. Of, it's Finnish. I I forgot the name. I I made a video about them for them also. So it's like Finnish taste, taste of Finland. Yeah, taste of Finland. You can check that one out. Uh, Alex, can the Finn survive living on a Southeast Asian country with very humid months? Uh, that's gonna be really tough. Like I was in Japan and the humidity kill <laughs> work was killing me. So 20 degrees Celsius is very, very annoying. I mean, you can probably survive, but it's gonna be a bit diff difficult. Alex, try listening to Ram Rants by Grant McDonald. Okay, maybe I'll do it later. Do you know any online shop that sells Finnish stuff and food? 
uh, I think there is some places like a taste of Finland is one uh, for example uh, uh, uh. slurp.fi okay that's something I haven't heard about by the way if you haven't hit the thumbs up for this live stream make sure to boom boom do it now because we need more likes can we get the 30 likes we are at 21 now so we need nine more if i move to finland as a student will i need to pay all the taxes and stuff uh what taxes i mean if you make money if you work money if you work then of course you need to pay taxes but uh there is some limitations like uh like if you come here only for like six months or something then you probably don't need to pay as much. I don't know how it works, but if you move here, then basically if you work, you will pay taxes just like any other, any, anyone else. Uh, uh. Being native Dutch speaking and living in Helsinki, would you recommend to learn Finnish first or Swedish first? Uh, like Swedish is minor language. Like I wouldn't bother bother learning Swedish at all unless you have like very strong reason to do it. Like yeah, well it's a good question. I would go for Finnish because Finnish is the language that's used all all over the place. And the thing is that many Finnish don't even know it don't speak Swedish at all. Even we have to learn it in school. So Finnish is definitely the go-to language. From Ethiopia, it's possible to get permanent residence if I'm a student in Finland. Uh, student, students only get temporary residence permits. If you get the job, then you can get the uh, continuous residence permit and then later a permanent residence permit. What kind of life can you live in Finland if your monthly earnings are 2.k after tax? That's gonna be a good money. Definitely a great money. Like, of course it depends if you have kids and family or girlfriends, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, like like how, like psychos, if you're like single person, that's gonna be very good money. It would be great to be able to borrow a laptop like a book in the library. Uh, maybe you can, I don't know. Would it be easy to get a job having no qualifications but being English? Uh, I don't know. Of course, you always need to have some skills. For but it, it depends on the job. Is Finnish coffee stronger than average? I don't know. I guess I don't really drink coffee. Have you made a video about Finnish tongue twisters? Actually, I have. It's it's a, it was a collaboration video with Nakka Kubben. Yeah, you, if you just go to my channel and like Finnish tongue twisters, you can you can find it. How much can I earn as a student in Finland? Well, it depends. It it depends how much you. What do you work and what's your salary and so on. There's some limitations on how many hours per week you can work, but I think there's no salary gap. Anyone find a Finnish resource with written sentences and then audio slash mp3 pronounced by mail? Uh, I don't know. I don't... I uh, Yeah, I, I don't know at the moment. That sounds like a video idea. Would you class Finland as a Scandinavia or not? No, by definition, Finland is a Nordic country, not a Scandinavian country. What's the average rent for two bedroom in Helsinki? It depends on the location. You to maybe one thousand euro, maybe. Just search them up like this Finn Kiosk in Germany. They sell beer, salt, McBrano. Okay, good, 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 good. 
Moi from Argentina. I've started watching your videos recently and I'm loving them. Thanks, Silvano. Great to hear such good feedback. Alexi, what's your favorite Finnish song? I think it has to be Darude Sandstorm. Alright. Alexi, have you been to Rovaniemi? As a kid, I have been once, but that was like long time ago. This Kosken stuff stuff burns, but it's nice to infuse it with coffee and also the salmiakki. Liquor isn't that harsh. Good. How would you explain the translation of Sisu? I think I'm going to make a video about that later on at some point. It's me, your friend Donald. I'm back. And Milan Milan just joined the Fantastic Squad. Awesome. Um. I work in the city of Los Angeles in California and will retire in six years with pension about 4,000 euro per month. Is that enough for Finland? Yeah, <laughs> I would think so. Yeah, that's that sounds like great, good lot of good amounts of money. Is polka music appreciated or forgotten in Finland? I think it's a it's like a niche, niche, uh, niche topic. Some I think some like it. Can I work as a, more than 25 hours per week in Finland as a student? It's it's stated in your residence permit. I don't know what's the exact number. I like Popeda and Specti. Cool. Are you from Finland? Yes. Born and raised in Finland. I have a street legal drag racing car, Dodge Demon. Win Will Finland allow me to bring it with me? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Are Finnish people romantics? Well, not maybe for the most part, but but they have their romantic side, I would say. But it's not really like overly expressed. What are the best music festivals? That's a good question. Like I think, for example, Ruiz Rock is good. Ruiz Rock. I'll, I'll write this down. Ruiz Rock. Ilosaari Rock. Mitäs näitä vielä on? Kalajoen juhannus ehkä. There's a few. There's a lot of these music festivals. There's, depends what kind of music you like. What are the best music? Oh, yeah, that's how I just answered. A Finn being romantic depends much of a person, but some of us definitely are. Yep, that's what I would say. Are there Finnish Valentine Day traditions? Uh, not really. Like, what's kind of funny about Valentine's Day in Finnish? It's called like Ustavampäivä, which means like a Friends Day. But I think some couples might do something and, and stuff. But uh, it's not really like a thing, I would say. Oh, Flow Festival. That's another good one. What do you think about him and Ville Valo? I think they're pretty good. Do you like Justin Bieber? Not really. Not really. Okay, guys, we got to 31 likes. That's great. Just noticed. I'm planning to go to Rovaniemi this April. Is there much for a 70 year old to do there? Uh, yeah, of course. There's a lot of things you can do. Depends on the time of the year you go, but there's a Santa Claus village and you can do like husky stuff and, and uh, go watch the Northern Lights and so on. Okay, a lot of these good questions and comments. I think I caught up for the, them for the most part. Moi Alex, you look tired and sleepy. Go rest and sleep. Yeah, well, yeah, I was, I was partying. I was partying yesterday and 
I got home like at 4 a.m. So I didn't sleep that much. But today I think I will, if I go sleep earlier. And tomorrow I'll be back in. Back into action. Did you just wake up? Lol. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just a bit tired from yesterday's party. Great channel. Thank you. Thanks, Hatti, for the comments. What is the hourly pay for rate for students? It depends on the job completely. I'm addicted to Finnish songs lately, been listening to a lot of bands and solo artists and sharing on Instagram so people get to know it's so good. Nice. Is there a place Finns like to go vacation out of a country? Yeah, I think like, like Spain and Greece and these kind of con warm countries usually. Uh, 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 uh. Are ice caves to sleep in near Rovaniemi? I think they have like this igloo hotels. Thank you for your channel. I find it informative. Hope to one day reside in Finland. Great. What about anime in Finland? I think anime is quite popular. Yeah. I've also like anime mostly Dragon Ball Z. Do Finland as a dating app? Oh, I don't understand the question. I have to go, so have a good evening and see ya. Thanks Milan and have a great Sunday for you too. Uh, uh. What else, what else? I think we caught up all the questions, that's good. Yeah, maybe I'll take a few more questions and then I, then I just have to go to sleep probably because I feel a bit tired today. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering like if I should do this stream, but then I thought because we didn't do a stream last week, then I just like okay, let's do it now. Do they dub TV series into Finnish, or do they leave it in English? They are always left in English with captions. Like kids cartoon shows might be dubbed, but pretty much everything is just with English or the original language. What's single greatest thing about Finns? Uh, maybe the, the fact that you can pretty much trust and rely on them. There's not really much like this backstepping or like empty promises and stuff. Any crazy storms in Finland? Not at the moment. I met lots of Finns and Swedes when I was in Thailand for the fur for the winter. Great. Good stuff. Most popular Finnish cookie. <laughs> Maybe Domino is the one. Let me I can write it. Domino. That's the first thing that comes to my mind, at least. Thanks, Alex, for all your videos. Thanks, Duke One, Duke One, for the uh, for the comments. Finns are more like outside people, or they enjoy inner activities most. That's a good question. I think it's kind of like 50-50. Finns, I think Finns are kind of active, but there's been also a lot of news articles that Finnish people don't exercise enough and there's a lot of like ob obesity like Finns are like overweight so I guess that's also something to keep in mind uh, I made Ruiz Leipä Riisi Piirakka Mämmi great that those are all pretty good ones oh Olivia's also here thanks for all the thanks again for the the collaboration so if you haven't checked out olivia's channel go go do that because she makes like videos about finland from a foreigner's perspective so make sure to do that kalamies 26 or is in is 
in the squad now. Good stuff. Can I wear high heels as a man and walk a mile in Helsinki comfortable? <laughs> I guess why not? No, no one, they will, no one will try to stop you if you want to do it. Thanks for doing the stream, even though you were tired. Stay hydrated and sleep well. Well, that's why I'm drinking water as well. Is it easy for foreigners to move to Finland without speaking the language? Or is it must like a Sweden? Like, this question pops up all the time. Like, the thing is that you can get around in English. But the challenge is mostly about the job. Like, if, to find a job where you don't really need the language. If you can do that, then you can... It's possible to survive. But it's much, of course, much easier overall if you can understand and speak the language a little bit. When you will untwist your headphones, well, even if I do it, it always goes like Wah. So, I think I need to find if, or if you have some ideas, how can I just keep it like this without it going, getting twisted? Please let me know. Olivia says it was fun. Yes, indeed, it was fun. Thanks for the video collab. Cool. Thanks, Proteus, for that one. Too many hills and cobblestones. What is the most amazing accomplishment by Finland? Oh, well, that's a good question. Maybe becoming independent, I guess that's pretty good. Or defending Russia in the... Defending against Russia in the World War... In the Second World to uh, Second World War. I love your channel, actually. Keep going. Yeah, we actually had... Published a 300th video like some weeks ago, and I think we need to do another 300 videos to make this channel even bigger. Favorite Finnish beer? Uh, I don't. The Finnish beer isn't really that good. I only drink. I, I drink mostly longero and long drink. So. Okay, let's take a few more questions and then we will go to sleep. I like Sandler's Premium. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of a few kinds of brands, but I I haven't really found any good beers, so I'm not really a beer dude myself. Oh hi. What is your favorite Finnish food, Alexi? Oh, that's a good one. Maybe if we talk about pre purely Finnish food, like Kare Karelian steak, it's pretty good. And something simple as like mashed potatoes with salmon or meatballs, that works really well. Is it true Finnish women prefer cider? I would say yeah, because like girls usually don't drink beer. Of course, some girls do drink beer, but I think they like prefer like cider and these kind of things. Kof uh, Karla export is good. How do you feel about Lithuania? I think it's a pretty good place. I went there for the first time last summer. Do you agree with the UN ranking with the Finland is the Oh the <laughs> I think the night bot Night bot Can I restore the message? Okay, I, I think I need to make some adjustments. Ah yeah, if you put too many of these emo emotes like it kinda <laughs> considers considers it as spamming and it gives you like a timeout uh what do you agree with the un ranking finland is the happiest country there's another video focusing completely on that topic i strongly recommend to watch that i just started watching your videos i love it can you suggest a convenient place to live nearby hunken 
Well, I think somewhere just around Hanken then. Töölö, Kampi, Kallio. I mean, that's like, it depends. It depends what's your like price level and price range and, and stuff. So, but all the areas around Hanken is pretty good. Okay, 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 let's take a few more. For someone who is passionate about languages, has the drive to learn Finnish, how quickly could you consider realistically learn it? Uh, go watch the video with like this Mexican guy. He learned it in one year. And he, he's, he's pretty much fluent, like he can... He understands everything and he speaks like a Finn. Of course, he has a little bit of a, he has a little bit of an accent, but that's fine. I mean, in one year you can easily get to a conversational level if you have the right strategy and you have you you have the right goals and motivation. It's it's definitely doable. I've seen people do it before. Does the ban on smoking and drinking alcohol in public really work? Like smoking in public, it's not really banned, and neither really drinking alcohol. As far as I know. Okay, guys. I think it's time to wrap up this uh, live stream. Uh, because I was just a bit tired today. And because I was partying too much yesterday. So, But I think we had some good discussion again. And hope my answers helped you guys out. Like, I don't really... I can't... Of course, I can't answer all the questions specifically. Because I don't... I just simply don't know. So, but I always try to help you as much as I get, can, and uh, that's why I make these videos for you guys, so you can understand and learn more about Finland and make it easier for you to come here and uh, move here and so on. So next video will be again out next week and most likely, so thank you again for being here. Make sure to check out the Fantastic merchandise if you haven't, because you need to get this shirt. Because all fantastics do, you know. <laughs> and uh, thanks for all the support until now. And we will see you in the next video. Moi moi. Hyvää vöötä. See you guys.